Join me as I try to live off the land, teach wilderness cooking, endure a vicious attack, almost die, seek first the kingdom of God, and just enjoy God's beautiful creation. There's a principle in writing, it's called show, don't tell. I've been telling the young men all about spending 72 hours alone in the wilderness with no technology. This longer video, I'm calling it a movie, is all about showing you how you can spend those 72 hours. This is not a mold to be copied. It's just an example to give you some inspiration about going out into the wilderness, being alone, leaving the technology behind, enjoying God and enjoying his beautiful creation. So I hope you enjoy. The 72 hours begin. I've been up since 3.30 this morning, so I'm kind of tired, uh, but I'm trying to enter into the presence of the Lord and rejoice. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep, sweep the cabin out, give it a good thorough sweeping, and then I'll bring my, my mattress and sleeping blankets and all that in here. I'll probably take a little siesta, then have a coffee. I started my 72 hours with my St. Michael the Archangel shirt because I just find it's a battle getting out. But now I've changed into my Blessed Mother shirt because I'm about to cook some breakfast and I can use her help. Nothing fancy here. Got some dry figs, mixed nuts, and just, just the oatmeal packs. Oatmeal packs for breakfast. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts which we're about to receive from your bountiful hands through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to start praying the rosary now. Usually when I'm in solitude, I try to pray all 20 decades. I rarely actually pray all 20, but I pray them one at a time. I pray a decade, and then I do a task, and it's kind of my way of attempting to not fall into laziness, although I will be taking a nap pretty soon. But I'm going to pray the opening prayers of the rosary, and then I'm going to go do my dishes. I'm doing a little bit of reading before my nap. I got this book on the Desert Fathers. In the foreword it says, The tradition of the Desert Fathers is central to Christianity. The desert is present everywhere, and the spirituality of the desert can be found everywhere. The true spirituality of the desert is radical. Its essence is absolute simplicity. We must go to this single, basic, radical Christianity, which does not mean trying to copy what they did, but we must learn from them a crystal-like simplicity. Okay, time to take a nap. I went into a deep sleep. I think it was the sound of the breeze that put me to sleep. But now it's time for coffee. I've got my St. Francis peace shirt on because it's just now after being here for a couple hours that I'm starting to settle in and really feel at peace. May the Lord bless you and peace will be yours all the days of your life. Sign me up, Lord. I'll take it. This part of the plant is medicinal, mullen, and um, this is milfoil. This is also medicinal. Kind of smells nice. 
this is goldenrod. A lot of people don't like this because it kind of gives you, if you have allergies, it's not good. We're gonna try to catch some dinner and I've got my happiness is living in a van down by the river because I'm always happy when I'm by the river. I call this water therapy. Being optimistic here. Fish on. I think this was second cast and I, I think this will be a nice little snack for tonight. Love the Son, the Holy Spirit. Oh, Amen. I already know this is going to be crazy good. Woo! Fresh bass. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Onion, garlic, bread. Bread and fish. What does that remind you of? to help me glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit
Now everything is up and out of the way and I actually have a bit of space in this place. Maybe tomorrow I'll put a nice shelf in for my books because right now my books are just on the on the floor. I don't want the bugs to eat my books. I love it. First night in the bush is always a little weird, a little unfamiliar, a little scary. So I decide for the night to put on my Pray, Hope and Don't Worry shirt, St. Padre Pio. My end of the day reflection is that it is good to be here. I had a lot of hesitation about coming out and doing these 72 hours, but oh, I'm so glad I'm here. And my scripture for you from Night Prayer, Psalm 16, Psalm 16. It says, I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. And so I'm about to get down on my little, you can't see it here, my little mattress and, uh, and call it a night and looking forward to another day tomorrow. It's 5 a.m. and I actually, I got some pretty decent sleep, but it's kind of cold now. I need to figure out how to make some coffee. I'm starting my day today with a Viva Cristo Rey shirt because I survived the first night and it feels like a victory. Send down fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send down fire again, the Holy Ghost fire. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old order has passed away. Now all is new. It's time to do some berry picking. I'm hoping to get some raspberries and blackberries to put in my oatmeal this morning. I'm going to tell you something. It is a glorious morning this morning. Alleluia. Now this is interesting. We've got some running water here, just a little trickle. But the question is, where is this coming from? And is it nice freezing cold water? Because water coming out of a mountain. Oh, there, there's the source right here. See, it's coming out of the ground. And sometimes this water is drinkable. This is St. John's wort. It's also medicinal. What's really neat about this is check this out. So yellow and you take it and if you crush it between your fingers, guess what color comes out? Purple. I think these are called boysen or boysen berries. They're kind of like a raspberry and they taste like a raspberry too. They're actually pretty good eating. So we'll have that with our oatmeal this morning. You have made me, oh God, to live forever in your love. And my heart will not rest until it rests in you. Hallelujah. It's not the season for black bears yet. They're white or green everywhere, but the odd place they ripen early and it looks like I'm going to have blackberries with my oatmeal this morning. I love it. Thank you, Lord. I know some people are thinking, oh, this is a nice little idyllic way to spend a few days. But the fact is, is this is the classic way or one of the classic ways of getting the demons out. Are you dealing with demons in your life? Are you trying to get them out? Well, leave your cell phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever else behind and just go out into the bush and say lots of prayers. I lost my spoon. Where's my spoon? Um, Found it. Anyways, you get out into the bush, you leave the technology behind, 
You say lots of prayers, you rough it, you deal with the bugs, you deal with the miserable nights, sleep, the cold, the heat. And you get the demons out. That's the whole point of the 72 hours. Get filled up with God and get the demons out of your life. Which, by the way, I'm wearing, check out the shirt I got for breakfast. It says, Vita Virtus Viventum. Living a life of virtue. That's what we're trying to do. Time to start the rosary. Part of Desert Father wisdom is you go into the wilderness and you plant yourself in a place and you stay in that place. That place becomes both your paradise and your arena for battle. Here are two sayings. An old man said, just as a tree cannot bring forth fruit if it is always being transplanted, so the monk who is always going from one place to another is not able to bring forth virtue. Another saying, an old man said, the monk's cell is like the furnace of Babylon, where the three children found the Son of God, and it is like the pillar of cloud, where God spoke with Moses. This is what you call horizontal meditation. Behold the heart which has loved so much. Today is Friday, so I'm trying to meditate on the love of the sacred heart of Jesus. Whatever kind of wasp these are, they give you a warning. When I was, you saw me freak out. Oh, you see they're coming out now. When I was sweeping, one of them got on the back of my hat where the opening is, and then one or two others swarmed. They didn't sting me, but they gave me that warning and you saw me back off. <laughs> I love it. I just finished doing some yard work and piling all this brush, and now it's time for a swim. Woo! It's the hour of mercy, so I'm doing a little prayer walk, praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, and check out my shirt. I-N-R-I. -I. So I made a brush pile this afternoon. This is what's left of it, and I've been feeding this fire for quite some time now having lots of fun and the plan is is to take the coals from this fire and put them under this grill and then cook dinner tonight the tank on this single burner is almost empty so i put together what i'm calling a coffee bag it's a bag that has birch bark and some nice kindling wood so when i get up at 5 a.m tomorrow morning if this thing's empty i can just grab what's in the coffee bag one spark and in a few minutes I should have boiling hot water so I can make my coffee. I've got another beautiful Sacred Heart shirt on on this Friday remembering the wonderful love of the heart of Jesus. Now some of you guys you might be a little stressed out about grub. You might not know how to approach food for your retreat if camping's new to you listen the simplest way to get meals in the woods cans get cans with uh, easy flip tops so you don't even have to bring a can opener today is friday so we're going vegetarian but we're also feasting because it's the it's a feast of saint anne and saint joachim <laughs> so we got new england style clam chowder and we got pink salmon so what we're gonna do is uh Gonna get this bug out of the pot and one, two, stir it up a bit. And voila, put it on the fire and dinner is served. Oh 
it's nice and boiling. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we're about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So my chowder and salmon boiled pretty good, so I'm just going to let it cool down. It seems like it burnt on the bottom, too. That's really unfortunate, but that's life. I have a little bit of coleslaw here. I'm gonna start with that. Here's a saying for you. An old man said, if a monk knows a place where he can make progress, but where he can get the necessities of life only with difficulty, and for that reason, he does not go there. Such a monk does not believe that God exists. An old man said, if someone lives in a place and does not reap the fruit which that place affords, it will drive him away because he has not known how to work there. An old man said, he who loses gold or silver can find more to replace it. But he who loses time cannot find more. I had the heat too high and I didn't stir it. But that's, that's how you learn, you know. It's pretty good though. I was out walking and I think I might have found a new fishing hole. So let's give it a try. This is at a really hard to get to place. Fish on. Fish on. What do we got here? Ah, nice little bass. There you go. Little bass. Well, the day is slowly coming to an end here. I just got back from a second swim to cool down. And I've been kind of reflecting a little bit on how things are going. Yesterday was such a wonderful day. I, I so enjoyed yesterday. It started off a little rough because I was up at 3.30 in the morning. But after... Uh, my nap, I was just, I was refreshed and I just so enjoyed yesterday. Today was a wonderful day as well, but today I was a little out of sorts and I was kind of reflecting on it. I think I might've had a little too much sun in the last two days, but also I've been a little sloppy with just the basic duties and kind of getting a little lazy. The one example is today after my breakfast, I didn't bother doing the dishes right away. And it's such a small thing. I told myself, well, I can do that later. And there was maybe two or three other things in the day today where just get, just getting a little sloppy, a, a point where I probably should have prayed a decade of the rosary or I probably should have tidied a few things up, put a few things away, and I didn't. And I've just been reflecting on, boy, if you drop the ball on those little basic duties that they're not exactly fun but they bring joy when you do them and when you're done you, you feel good <laughs> you know when there's a there's a joy if you do don't do those little things ah it 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 takes away the momentum you know and so i just find myself thinking okay tomorrow i really want to <laughs> do my dishes right away put the tools away right away when I'm done using them, keep things, you know, neat and tidy as they're meant to be as best as possible and, and just stay faithful to the little points of prayer during the day. I'm loving this. Like to me, again, failure or, or not being perfect, you know, that's fine. That's how you learn. It makes me excited about keeping at this and, and just trying to get better. So anyways, speaking of which... <laughs> Time to do evening prayer, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a nice evening and an awesome day tomorrow. Well, I'm finally going down to the river to get some water to do the dishes, which I've been putting off all day today. And I've got my Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner shirt. Thank God the Lord is merciful. Can you see the little fish?
So my end of the day reflection as I'm sleeping on the floor here in my treehouse is that I need to learn to keep things simple. I need to focus on my basic duties as I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Oh. And I need to enjoy my life. Looking forward to tomorrow. I slept in this morning and now I feel great and I'm ready to take on the day. So today's day three, it's the third and last day. And I'm starting my day with my Veni Sancte Spiritus shirt because the last time I did three days alone in the wilderness, the third day I had trouble entering the kingdom of God because my mind and heart was kind of just on packing up and, and finishing the retreat. But I said to myself, the next time I do three days, I'm going to just enter into the retreat on a third day and not worry about packing up. Now, I also changed things because last time I started my retreat at the end of the day. So the 72 hours ended at the end of the day. And I said, I'm not going to do that next time. So this time I start my retreat early in the morning so that the retreat ends tomorrow morning, early in the morning, so that all day today I can just enjoy retreat mode and not worry about packing up. I'll worry about packing up tomorrow morning. But now we're making some coffee. This is beautiful. Psalm 84. Happy are those whose strength is in you. They go from strength to strength. Oh, I love to have the strength of the Lord to go from strength to strength. To me, you, send, you spend time in sacred scripture. You do your spiritual reading. You're praying your rosary decades throughout the day. Singing praises to the Lord. Repenting of, of our sins. Trying to delight in the Lord. Oh, and you'll have his strength. And you'll go from strength to strength El vive, vive, el vive, vive, vive Jesus, el Señor. In the shadow of your wings protect me, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Christ within me, behind me, before me, beside me. That's the prayer of St. Patrick. Got the St. Patrick shirt because St. Patrick was a man deeply transformed through his time spent in solitude. I love spiritual reading and for me one of the best ways to keep the fire of faith burning in your heart is just always have a good Catholic book on the go. Like when I'm up here in the woods, all it takes is reading a few lines, maybe a paragraph or two and for me it just excites the faith. It just makes me want to love God. And also when I'm out on adventures like this, I also love to have an adventure book with me. I've read almost all the adventure books out there and those too, they, they keep me stoked about getting out into wilderness adventures. Right now I'm reading this book, it's by Elliot Merrick called True North. Uh, he, back in 1930, went up deep into the Labrador bush to live with the trappers for a winter. And it's a nice story, it, I, you learn stuff, it's inspiring. Coffee break is over. It's time to do some work.
I seriously almost stepped on this thing. It's right on my trail. I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail here. Check this out. Oh, and by the way, the bush has been really wet because we've been getting a lot of rain lately, but okay, thumbnail time. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Like burning incense, Lord, let my prayer rise up to you. St. Lawrence was a martyr who was killed by being burnt on a grill. And at one point, he said to his executioners, hey, I'm cooked well on this side, why don't you flip me over? So I got my grill-like Lawrence shirt going because I'm about to do some grilling. This was my goal for this retreat. I wanted to make a fire where I could have two stages. I'm gonna put the grill here, and then I'm gonna be able to rake the coal under the grill and keep the fire going so I have a steady source of wood coal and we're gonna try to make some burgers tonight. I think this worked. I dragged some coal over just once when it cooled down a bit and uh, let's find out. Mmm, mmm. I give myself an A+. Plus. As I finish my burger here, I have a message for the young men. I'm doing this for you. I know that so many of you, you're being enticed by the world, the flesh, and the devil, and you find yourself on the wide and easy road, and you don't need me to remind you where the wide and easy road leads to, and you have to find a way to save your soul. You gotta snap out of it. You, you gotta break free from whatever it is that's just dragging you, you know, to go with the flow. Only dead fish go with the flow. And so it's the challenge. For those of you who are over 18, I want you to do your research, be wise, be prudent, stay safe. But if you feel the call, get out into the wilderness, like our Lord Jesus, like St. John the Baptist, St. Bruno, St. Anthony, get out into the wilderness, leave the technology behind and just, just talk to God. Pour your heart out to him. Beg him for mercy on your soul and he'll hear your prayer. Time to do the dishes. You have made me, oh God, to live forever in your love. And my heart will not rest until it rests in you. I want to end the day today by reading to you a couple passages from Mother Eugenia's revelations. The Father speaks to his children. Mother Eugenia reports God the Father saying, I want you to enjoy eternal happiness even here on earth. I want men to be able to know me and to feel that I am close to each one of them. I love simplicity. I ask you to spend your days in a spirit of recollection. And then finally, O oh, come by the path of confidence, call me your father. The sun is down and that means the mosquitoes are starting to come out so I think I'm going to call it a night. I'll pack a few things up and then go to bed. I hope to do some reading before I go to bed. I haven't done as much reading as I would have hoped to on this uh, retreat so far but it's been wonderful. Today was a wonderful day. Really enjoyed it and we'll see you tomorrow. It's about 4 45 a.m. I've been up since a little after four. I didn't sleep the best last night. I was up about every two hours and took me a while to fall asleep but I got my coffee and I'll be fine I still see the moon there's the moon is and I think that's the morning star the sky is just starting to light up I'm sure it's going to be another beautiful day my god I believe I adore I trust and I love you I beg pardon for those who do not believe do not adore do not trust and do not love you 
When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. There it is. Boom. Look at the mess I got to pack up now. And that does include the things that are in the cabin, which, by the way, I call her the Peace Tower. Couple closing thoughts before I pack up my books here. These last three days were not my official 72 hours. I did that a month ago. There's no video record because you're not supposed to bring your phone. And so I mentioned on YouTube that I would do another three days, bring the camera so I could take you along with me and just see what it's like spending 72 hours alone in the wilderness. Um, which by the way, if you do 72 hours and want to send a daily, I'm still alive text to your family, that's okay. That's allowed. Um, I hope to do this again, maybe in the fall when there's less bugs, I won't be able to swim, unfortunately, unless I want to freeze. Well, I think that's it. That's how I spent my 72 hours. I hope you enjoyed the movie. And the question is, how are you going to spend your 72 hours? Viva Cristo Rey! These hooks are too good. They're just, they're crazy. Ah, ouch.